Scorpio, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 29th of January to the 4th of February 2024. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Scorpio. Right, you get the full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Love that. Maybe having a question about something or someone or somewhere, and the answer you need is on its way. New moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. This may be the answer that you are waiting for here. Maybe wanting to try something different, to do something new, but there are um, it's not just you that's going to be affected by it. And this is to make sure that you and your loved ones are safe. Maybe moving to a different town, a different country even, if you've got a family. There's a lot of opportunities around this that need to know that you and your loved ones are safe. And this may be the answer you're waiting for. Wow, okay, Scorpio, 29th of January to the 4th of February, 2024. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Scorpio. Overall, Ace of Pentacles. Whatever it is that's happening, this is an extremely brand new chapter that is about to get off the ground here. Whether it's a new job, a new home, a new love, this new chapter that is getting underway does begin. And this is where you may have been the question, am I making the right move to get this underway? I feel like you're taking a completely change of direction here straight away. Um, that that there has been a bit of concern about keeping you and your loved ones safe around this whole change of different direction. Leaving a job and going in a completely different way of um, career-wise here, etc. Wow, Scorpio. Monday, Ten of Cups, but there is a lot of emotional support and happiness around you. The support that may not be so obviously so at times, but I feel like this as well is still the answers you need. And knowing that you have got the support behind you when you do start something here that I do still feel is something completely different than what you've been doing. Tuesday, Nine of Swords. Stress, yes. Sleepless nights, yes. Especially when there's questions that you're wanting answers to. Especially when you're needing to know that you and your loved ones are safe with this change of direction but um, those sleepless nights that do come with it sometimes it is overthinking of things this is where that emotional support is able to come in and look at things in another perspective as well and to um, hopefully be able to talk things through with that but get that balance of perspective there but ultimately this new beginning you are celebrating, cracking open the champagne. This may be um, getting together with friends and family in person, maybe having to do this online, but there is celebration being had here with being able to get some sort of new chapter underway. You know, you may be giving up your job to start your own business. Um, you may be moving to another town or another country with your family here, and it is quite an Venture, but it is quite a oh what am I doing but ultimately you're celebrating love that brilliant nine of pentacles Thursday I'm um, sorry it's not the nine it's the eight of pentacles on Thursday not shutting the world out yes you're working very hard to get this new new journey underway but shutting you everyone out you and your loved ones are safe so don't shut anyone out here don't turn your back on the world while you're trying to do it all yourself. Look at the emotional support here that you have at the start of the week. Make sure that you keep that on board with you. Always sound like I'm lecturing. Friday, Nine of Wands. Love that because those obstacles, the hurdles you've had to jump over, the hoops you've had to jump through are all behind you here. There's nothing holding you back from this new venture getting underway. Your own energy transition may have connection to another Scorpio. It's just confirming and confirming again and confirming again. This past 
can be closed off. This chapter can be closed off. And I do say sometimes it's like putting the whole book back on the shelf and selecting a whole different book. And I feel like this is what you are doing here. This whole different direction. It does require a whole different book, so to speak, around that. That transition as you do close one chapter and now focus on what lies ahead. And it brings an end to this painful cycle, the Ten of Swords. From this Nine to the Ten, you are able to close this cycle off now. You are able to focus on this new venture and make the most of it. Love that as an underlying reading, Scorpio. Whatever the change is that's happening, I feel like you've you felt like you're stuck in a rut for a long time. And now suddenly, this is quite a change of direction. And bring it on I say ace of pentacles overall flew out six of pentacles ace of wands nine of swords and again it does come with the sleepless nights am I doing the right thing here but I feel like it is a new focus that you are focused on that you've got your sights set on here as long as you keep things balanced along this journey and get things off to a balanced start, equal give and take. If you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. But as um, I said, those sleepless nights, those questions that you have, um, that you're wanting answers to here, making sure that this new chapter gets off to a very balanced start because these answers are on their way. And... Um, things are happening and look what just flew out right here ace of pentacles again monday ten of cups you get ace of pentacles two of wands seven of swords being able to walk away from some sort of deceptive energy and that deceptive energy just may be your self-doubt that's coming with these questions that you do have and um, it may be that it is outside energy gossip backstabbing but ultimately you know what you want who you want where you want to be and you're ready to get this chapter underway and you do have the emotional support behind you here tuesday nine of swords the full king of wands strength Again, knowing what you want, who you want, where you want to be, it does take strength to bypass all these stress and sleepless nights and questions you may have. And it does take strength to take that first step, to take that leap of faith, especially if it's a completely different direction, as I mentioned, than what you've previously been going through here. Um, love it uh, you know strength may have connection to a leo but this whole different direction is the adventure and where you have these concerns feel like it's giving you your answers here three of cups celebration five of cups ten of pentacles princess of cups emotional sadness loss or grief i'd always say that don't let others tell you to hurry up and get over it but i feel like there's a sense you know i put it to to you before about having a change of direction around jobs careers etc you know and it does come with a sense of sadness that you're leaving one kind of familiar behind but you are actually starting something extremely different and unique and you're ready for that that success is there and this offer as well this offer of love this offer of support it may be from a younger energy it could be from a child always say it could be a pet it could be somebody significant but um you and your loved ones are safe and i feel like that support is around you here as you begin this new venture eight of pentacles Three of Wands, Death, got that here, and the Emperor may have connection to Scorpio, another Scorpio or Aries here. Opening your eyes to see the bigger picture, the answers you need are coming, and it may just mean that you need to open your eyes to look at things a lot clearer as you do close some sort of chapter off and focus on what lies ahead. We talked about Eight of Pentacles, not shutting everyone out and being so stuck and focused here. That Three of Wands is saying, open your eyes, still be aware of what's going on around you, but see the bigger picture. See the negative side of things, but also see the positive side of things. It is weighing things up here. Have the Six of Pentacles there, the balance, weighing this energy up. Um, but you're in control of the situation. Divine Masculine Energy here with the Emperor. 
nothing is phasing you. Now that you see the bigger picture, a lot more clarity is happening here. Nine of Wands, Friday. Look at you go, the Sun, the High Priestess, Queen of Wands. Maybe a bit overwhelming because it's been a bit of a journey to get to this stage and this journey may just be the mental journey of making a decision of this change of direction. For others, it's like the journey of the whole change of direction that is happening here. You're able to take a step back, have a breather, focus here, refocus. You're quite content now to watch what's going on around you, but I feel like now you know what you want, who you want, where you want to be. There's more determination here to get the job done and um, bring you your ultimate happiness and joy that that sun energy is about to bring down for you. Oh, love this Scorpio. Transition, your own energy, Saturday. Nine of Wands, you've just come off that. The Moon, Princess of Pentacles, made connection to a Pisces, but it's giving you that much more clarity to see the obstacles are all behind you. You are still standing, and now there's nothing holding you back. There is an offer being made here. This may be the offer of the whole change of direction that's happening. And again, this Moon is giving you that clarity to see see the fine print if it's a legal document to see what the offer really involves but this offer is also bringing you the answers that you are needing here sunday ten of swords scorpio the hierophant the star the lovers super energy here may have um, connection to taurus aquarius gemini but ending this painful cycle, there may be some self-doubt, there may be some interference, somebody trying to tell you, you can't be doing this. Look at what you do, you're just shifting everything completely around in the different direction, doing a 360. So be it. This is your wishes, your dreams, what your heart desires, who your heart desires to be with, somebody significant here, or where your heart desires to be. And it brings an end to a painful cycle as you're able to say, whoa, hold on, this is my journey, you know, um, maybe an existing relationship, maybe somebody brand new, you and your loved ones are safe, that loved one is by your side. Wow, so Scorpio, love this, let the adventures begin, we'll see what the universe says. The star again, Ace of Wands, the Fool. And once again, it is about having a focus on what it is that your heart desires, where you want to be, who you want to be with, and then having that focus, getting that first step underway, taking that leap of faith. And as I said, let the adventures begin. You and your loved ones are safe. The answers you need are coming. And I feel like those answers are through here and just reconfirming you can do this. You can go for this and you can make a damn good go of this. <laughs> So, Scorpio, let us finish with Star Temple Oracle. Love that for a reading. Number 17, the Amber Star, let go. I surrender and allow myself to grieve. And I feel like this is letting go of the familiar that you've been in as this new journey begins. Star Words, Disenchantment, Morning Power. The Amber Star is the integration of the Solar Plexus Chakra and the Crystal Spirit of Amber. The Solar Plexus is the yellow chakra situated above the navel and below the sternum. When combined with the Passionate Spirit of Amber, this energetic vortex is the center of perception, personal power and persona. The shadow side of the Solar Plexus is grief. As the Amber Star, Electra inspires you to intentionally grieve, heal and let go of any past woundings that you are clinging to. Forgiveness is simply conscious surrender for united peace and happiness. In doing so, you reclaim your sacred power. Exactly the cycle you're closing off here. As I said, this new adventure begins. So that's what I have, Scorpio. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Many blessings to all of you. And I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.